It's Umsum time! What if snakes started flying? Ah uh ha! -huh. Snakes can never fly! Huh? Oh, Umsum! Firstly, if snakes started flying, birds may give up flying. They may start moving like snakes. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Secondly, if snakes started flying, people with ophidiophobia, as in fear of snakes, may shift to a different planet. Hmm. Thirdly, if snakes started flying, rats, the primary target of snakes, might start taking <laughs> flying lessons. Hmm. Fourthly, if snakes started flying, eagles and hawks will now find it extremely difficult to catch a snake. Hmm. Fifthly, if snakes started flying, when snakes huh? land on the terrace to take a break, entire building may get empty very fast. Hmm. Lastly, if snakes started flying, other reptiles might get inspired. Even they might try their hand at flying. Huh? Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> Why do snakes shed their skin? Wait, I'll explain. When a snake grows, its outer skin layer called epidermis does not grow or get bigger with it. Hence, the snake sheds its epidermis periodically to allow further growth of its body. In addition to this, shedding also helps remove parasites present on the epidermis. So does the snake buy a new skin? No. First listen. Before shedding, the snake grows a new epidermis beneath the old one and secretes a fluid between the old and new epidermis. This fluid helps separate the old epidermis from the new one. Once this is done, the process of shedding begins. To remove the old epidermis, the snake rubs its head against any hard surface, creating a tear either near mouth or near nose area. Then, it drags and wriggles its body against any hard surface and slowly slithers out of the old epidermis. Hmm. Why do snakes have forked tongue? Just for fashion! No. Even though snakes have noses, they smell odors of their prey. Ah. Mate or surroundings with the help of their tongue and vomeronasal organ. Each time a snake flicks its tongue in air, it collects odor particles. Then, when the tongue is brought back, the particles are transferred to the vomeronasal organ. This organ detects the odors and sends signals to the brain, helping the snake smell. Wow, that's interesting! Now, we know that when we see with our two separate eyes, our brain combines the two different perspectives and makes a detailed image of our surrounding. Similarly, because the tongue of a snake is forked, it collects odor particles from two different locations, helping the snake understand in which direction oh. the odor is coming from and thus making it easier to locate the prey. Hmm.